Well, you're a good example of naturally beautiful skin. Well, I've been working at it for a long time. I've been taking GLA-containing oils since I was about 22. I met this man who had the most stunning skin I've ever seen, and I said to him, what's the secret? He was in his 80s. Mm -hmm. He said, GLA. And he said, you need to start it now. You need to take it every day. And he said, the younger we start, he said, we can put two-year-olds on it. Really? GLA? Yes. What does GLA. that mean? GLA is a very special fatty acid that's found only in a couple of different seed oils. One of them is borage. And uh, GLA is found in abundance in borage oil. Interestingly enough, in the UK, they don't wear that pink ribbon that we wear over here for Cancer Month. They mm -hmm. wear the borage flower, a little tiny blue flower, mm. because they've done great research uh, using GLA for uh, breast cancer treatment and prevention. So not only does it make your skin beautiful, but it's also fabulous for our breasts as well. Are we talking uh, just skin on your face or skin all over your body? All over your body. And you know, as we age, uh, we start to get this crepey skin mm -hmm. and you know you touch it and it, it almost feels like paper and it's thin and dry and uh, it's definitely looser and it's looser <laughs> and you know one thing that is absolutely awful that happens to us women when we go through menopause is we lose the ability to make GLA from our food when we're younger we can make it from nuts and seeds and certain vegetables but when we go through menopause we no longer have the ability to get GLA from our food because the enzyme that makes GLA from our food uh, doesn't work after menopause. So we have to supplement. There's absolutely no other way to get it. Well, is it in uh, mm -hmm. uh, essential fatty acids, in, yes. uh, in salmon oil and all of that, or is this spe just a specific right. oil? Um, it's What's not the found, difference? It's not found in fish oil. GLA is not found in fish oil. GLA is not found in flax. It's not found in any of the other oils. It is only found predominantly in borage oil. We do see it also in evening primrose oil, but to a much lesser extent, and a little bit in black currant oil. But if you really want to get lots of GLA, and you need about 500 milligrams per teaspoon in order to get okay. adequate amounts, uh, you would want to do that from borage oil. So do you just take a glug in the morning? I do. <laughs> I, I have been using uh, GLA oil Mm -hmm. literally since I was 20 and I have a fridge full of it and I it comes in a bottle like this Can and you it says GLA it? Uh, if you ever too take much? too much oil you get diarrhea but that's not that's not going to happen okay. to you it tastes nice too that's the other thing it has a pleasant sort of nutty taste it's not offensive it's easy mm. to take and uh, you can even apply it to the skin and you know when we look at babies with cradle cap if you've got a newborn that's developing cradle cap that's one of the earliest warning signs that they're GLA deficient okay if you have oily skin still okay if you have oily skin and acne then GLA has been researched to stop acne as well so it creates the imbalance in the skin also mm. so if you want perfect beautiful skin uh, GLA is the secret sure it almost sounds too magical well, it Do you is. you know what I mean? Well, it is. It's like, you know, people are spending a lot of money mm -hmm. on laser treatments and Botox and fillers. and But, you know, let's get the skin integrity to be beautiful. So, you know, treating the skin from the inside out and remembering that the skin is an extension of your digestive tract. So that tube that goes from your mouth to your butt is telling you a lot about what's going on inside will show up on the outside of the skin. And so it's important to make sure you have healthy digestion as well. 